Well, it must be a special day if we're streaming at 8 o'clock in the morning, but Faladir had been released into the Hunter Classic, and especially because the release was so early, uh, we dropped the video, what, about an hour ago now, I thought we'd come out here and do a stream just to kind of have a little more content for the day. Plus, I kind of want to go after them for real. If you didn't get to see the video, basically, Expansive Worlds was kind enough to get us a little sneak peek at the Faladir, not to where we could release any content before the release of the Faladir happened, but at least to where we could have a little opportunity to hunt them. So, I've got a little bit of an idea of where they may be. I had a lot of success along the rivers, oddly enough. So that's kind of where we're going to start today, and we're going to see if we can get anything cool for them. <laughs> Muskrats early for once. Welcome on in, man. The Hunter Classic YouTube stream. What's the last time we did this? Was it... I don't even know that we did it for Axis Deer. I remember doing it for Lynx. That was forever ago. First time I can catch a stream. Love your videos. Thank you, Brian. I just want to say hi before I get on the bus for school. Appreciate you stopping in, man. I'm sure this is a less than ideal time for a lot of people, but then again... I like doing the the streams that happen at random, just to kind of see who gets to make it in. Why so early? Because Faladir just came out. Gotta be... What do they say? The early bird gets the worm? There's gotta be a big male waiting out here. Classic is never on YouTube indeed. You do not accept my apology for the double ping? Well, that's unfortunate. You just got to the two small males. Things got a little more interesting after that in the video. I think I was kind of unlucky. Uh based on what I saw from some of the other uh, fallow content out there, it looks like finding such small males maybe wasn't the norm. Would you recommend the 243 Ranger? It's a way better gun than people give it credit for in the Call of the Wild. I love your vids, please say hi. Hey. <laughs> I like the early stream mainly because I'm a morning person. The, uh... The acquisition of a puppy has turned me into a morning person very quickly. I've never been a morning person. I've been asleep till 10 o'clock, get my stuff done later in the day type of person for goodness. When I was really young, I could be a morning person, but I think that's the case for everybody. So pretty much always, I've not been a morning person. And then, and then a puppy came along and 7 and 8 a.m. wake ups are a lot more than norm. Why is that alert not going through? Is that just YouTube being slow? There it is, Big Pack. Thank you for the super chat. Hey, Flinter, you're the best. Well, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. It hasn't turned you into a morning person. Eh, you haven't got to wake up, try to run her out the door, only for her to stop at the top of the stairs and pee on the carpet. Ooh, infuriating. Anyway. Better roll out of bed and do the same. Nice. 8.12 here. I should have waited like four minutes to start the stream at 8.12, but honestly, I, I got everything ready, Shadow is starting to get sleepy, and I figured I'm just going to go for it. Get as much stream as possible. I don't know if this will be a full two-hour stream. It could be longer, it could be shorter. It's somewhat dependent on what Shadow does. Man, it's nice to have normal skills again. Being level one for everything in that video was a little bit odd. Brayton, thank you for the super chat as well. I appreciate the support. Uh, making it to the stream before I make it to school. Glad you could stop in. Hope you were talking about the puppy. Indeed. Indeed I was. First live stream. Well, this is an interesting one. Doing a uh, early morning classic hunt. But it's an interesting day. Not often do we see a new species in the Hunter Classic. I actually messed up when I was recording yesterday's intro. I had to redo it. Because I said at first... That Faladir were the first antlered animal in years, thinking back to Rusadir and Sambardir on Pikabeen Bay. But we got access to here less than a year ago, so it, they'd be the second antlered species in a bunch of years. Tea or coffee in the morning? Considering I'm sipping on coffee right now, um, I would say coffee's my answer. I love it so much that you named your dog Shadow. That's my 10-year-old Black Lab slash English Pointer makes his name. That's cool. It really worked out well. We were looking for, like, a at least somewhat unique name. And Shadow kind of came across our minds. And Kyla texted it to her mom. She's like, oh, it's Groundhog's Day. That's perfect. And that kind of sealed it that it was fate at that point. We had to go for it. 
Why do you sound so different back then, back when? Back when is the question. I assume you're talking about my old videos? A combination of things, different microphone, different uh, approach, I guess. I had a very weird mindset with my old videos that if I was... If I was myself, I guess, if I was kind of lighthearted, happy-go-lucky, joking stuff, I didn't think anybody would take me uh, very seriously. 97 is number one on the leaderboard. Nobody's killed a big one, then. Toast or ham and eggs? Ham and eggs every time. I had... What did I make yesterday? I cut up a fresh onion, fresh potato, did eggs, a little bit of bacon. Oof. I'm gonna make myself... I'm already hungry. Puppy cam, please. We need to do it one of these days, especially if I can get her to just curl up and sleep like she's doing. Then again, I'm going to have to, when I eventually try to make this work, I'm going to have to be very careful because she's likely to try to eat it and then chew the wires. She already was chewing on the wires under my PC, which really just kind of finally got me to do the thing I needed to do, which was get... I don't even know what it is, actually. It's it's insulation for... I don't know if it's insulation for like a... Water... Oh, God. Hold on. I don't know where we're getting charged from. I don't like it. Don't do it. Okay. Interesting first kill of the stream. Anyway. Basically, you can imagine it being a small pool noodle with a cut down it. And it's got all my PC cords and wires just kind of all kept to one place. Alright, that was fun. Mean Piggy? Yeah, I thought when they made that sound they were already charging. I was pretty sure we were dead. What's up, Joe? Flinter stream to start the day winning? How'd the rest of your stream go? I uh, I had to make dinner. It was already, what, 9.30 when I sent the raid off, so I didn't get to hang around too much. Why are you streaming so early in the morning? Fallow Deer just got released like an hour ago, so I wanted to get out here as it said, 97 is currently the number one leaderboard fallow, so we have a chance to just take the number one spot if we can get a big one. Not for long, of course. What have I missed? Uh, so far, just a wild boar that charged us. I think we're going to fast travel fairly soon. I had, like I was saying earlier, success along the river, so I want to at least spend some time over in here. What we might do is give it a couple of minutes, and if we don't get a call from any other species, we can run for a bit. I talk about this a lot, it's difficult to understand, but you can imagine that the Hunter Classic animals want to call, but they can only call every so often. So say that every so often is about five minutes, usually you'll consistently get a call, but once, once that period of time, maybe five minutes has passed, then normally the first animal that you kind of get close enough to uh, will actually call and close enough normally is just kind of break and render that's the concept behind it just randomly running road your tracks not what we want acids out of here all right I guess you're hopefully gonna go hunt the fallow enjoy man how we doing we're doing good a little uh little groggy still you could call it. waking up with some copy and some fallow deer but not a much better way to wake up I'm still trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to do for Saturday's video. Normally, Thursday is my half off day and record Saturday's video type of day. And, well, now we're doing this, so I might do a goose hunt for Call of the Wild. This is indeed an early stream. Glad you can make it in, winners. What's the biggest value you shot so far? So there's none that I've shot actually in the live game. If you got to catch the video I did earlier today, Expansive Worlds gave us like a little sneak peek at the Fallow Deer. Not to where, like, it's called the Wild, where we release the content before the release of the the animal. But we were able to kind of go out and hunt them and check them out. And I shot a 143 during that, which was decent. I, I wouldn't say it's huge. It seems they should be able to reach, like, 170 or so. Just got up for work. Hey, me too. In a way. <laughs> What's the next duck species going to be for Call of the Wild? I have no idea. Oh, God. I... I can see to the hillside behind the house, and the squirrel just kind of yeeted down and freaked me out. I wasn't ready for the movement out the window. Uh, what else would you like to see in the game? So, 
I had this thought when I was recording actually yesterday. Um, I was thinking about Logger's Point. There's a fallow. That's a doe, but there may be a buck along with her right by the river. I, there's something to it, I swear. There's something to the rivers and fallow deer. I don't know if that's where they're spawning or why that is. Anyway, um, I, I thought to Logger's Point and I was thinking about the region. Is it feasible for Pronghorn to be there? I think it is. Pronghorn could live certainly in an area that has um, mule deer and whitetail. I'm not sure about the hogs necessarily, but the pheasants and the rabbits seem to make enough sense. I mean, it seems fairly clear to me that they don't intend on really making another map. Maybe that could be a thing one of these days if they're uh, doing stuff such as new species in the community leagues. But as far as existing maps go, I think Pronghorn could at least kind of fit over on loggers. Foggy pretty with the snow? I love foggy mornings. I tell you that every time, but I've had a couple of really fun hunts on like frosty foggy mornings every time i see it i just wish i was out chasing deer and by chasing i mean sitting in a tree stand <laughs> we do have snow get back to bed now listen man i'm just i'm just trying to come up with things that could work all right i'm glad you made it in i was curious if you had to work or not but i was going to put in the announcements that if you didn't show up i wasn't gonna um ever stream classic again or something just to see if you'd come What's up, bye-bye power? Fog in West Virginia this morning as well? Nice. Is that a roe deer? I saw... That is a roe deer. Big meal. Did they... I guess they changed all of the... Spotting box info? Is bigger now, which seems unnecessary, but... I noticed it with the fallow, and I just sort of assumed that for some reason it had to be bigger for them. What's the clock? As in, like, what's the time here? 8.22 a.m. where I'm at. Do you like fishing? I do. The thing that kills me about fishing is that I, I always want to go. I mean, I've got a creek in the front yard, and there's rarely a day where I'm walking shadow outside, and I don't want to just go cast in and see if I can catch anything, but I just don't end up having the time that I want to put into it. I, I uh, you know, year-round I focus on getting my videos done and figuring out everything I need to figure out in order to hunt deer in the fall and that's kind of just where all my focus goes what do you play other than hunting games uh, Red Dead on Sundays we live stream over on Twitch that's kind of the main one right now I played a little bit of Madden I actually streamed that on Twitch as well uh, other than that random mobile games that I watch well or that I watch that I play while watching TV and having Shadow sitting on my lap. Nice bottom boy. Uh, since I obviously have no idea what your schedule is, will this be a regular stream? As in like a two hour length kind of thing? We'll sort of see. I think the fact that I got up early with Shadow means she might nap for longer. I mean, she is out right now, chilling on her little bed. So it's gonna kind of depend on her and we'll essentially see what happens. Speaking of schedule, by the way, I don't intend on having a normal 5 p.m. release today. We're going to have the fallow video from earlier, this stream, obviously, and I think that's basically going to be it. Oh, dear. Um, so, I've seen a number of herds that will have a buck kind of hanging in the back. So, at least three. That's a doe. I don't know how smart the fallow does are, like how likely they are to see us if I'm just kind of crouching here, but let's get one. Alright, maybe let's get two. Man, is what do you get car soccer? I did used to play a lot of Rocket League back in the day. Got a two hour delay? Nice. Twelve. Good morning, gotta go to the last day of school. Your last day of school is this early? Well, nice, man. Appreciate you stopping in quick. We will hopefully catch you, uh, in a future stream looking like at the moment perhaps a herd of fallow deer not that I don't have a bunch of other species that are going to take longer than fallow but I guess you know killing does will help to get to 100 and I want to have 100 of every species it should be doable I really gotta 
just bite the bullet and hunt links. When I'm editing or something, if I just sit in tree stands and try to call them in, it should be possible. Got one main tip for just starting classic for for an Aussie, maybe? Is that, a, is that a Q instead of an A? If you're just starting in classic, move slow and pay attention to your hunter mate. Calls, and when I say calls, I mean audible clues that animals will put out are, in my opinion, the best way to find animals. In fact, I found these fallow deer because one of them called out. And essentially, when you do get a call from, you know, whatever species it may be, you can identify it. The hunter mate gives you like a little ping on the map roughly where it is and if you have the caller for that species in this case the antler rattler for fallow deer you can bring them in and if not you kind of stock that way and try to get eyes on them i miss watching streams but i gotta go to school in 10 minutes no worries man there will be more hopefully we can uh, get some other random time streams up i've been talking about this when the red dead playthrough is completed and we're getting pretty close to the end of that um that's probably going to be the last of the sunday streams just because we're kind of getting into summer and i'm probably going to have to have weekends for making sure the grass is mowed and everything around here so i don't know if the wednesday streams are going to stay the same time they may be pushed to earlier but that might kind of mean we do some other random streams and not always just have the specific schedule did that dough bolt I never saw her run off. You whiffed on that put. What happened, Asik? Later, Muskrat. Adulting Strugs, indeed. At least for the first couple of times, I'll enjoy the fact that it's a chore that I have to do. I just love being able to walk outside and... I don't know, when it was at my apartment, I would walk outside and look at pavement, so... I'll take the Strugs having to mow the grass. A 222 man man? 122 wouldn't be diamond. Where'd that toe get to? I don't even... I don't know. Let's just fast travel. What's going on? Good morning. <laughs> that was not a happy good morning. <laughs> what are the rules for your stream? Oh my god, hello. Uh, the rules are no sneaking up on me if you're a fallow deer because that's rude. We're just gonna have to... There was no other course of action there. Well, good to know this tent's in a good spot. Are there, are there any other bucks? There well could have been. I think we got a field here to to see whatever runs off. That's a doe. Uh, weird. It seemed to me there were more. At least we got our buck. That was fun. 222, that's a good one, man. Pheasant just flew by. Anyway, the rules are very simple. Just basically be courteous and, you know, respect everybody in the chat. Nice little 83. Okay, that's not how I thought that was going to go, but we'll take it. Aaron can't touch you. Does Aaron want to touch you? Just my, bought my first rifle in real life. Nice, what'd you get? Uh, my deer has to get mounted in my room at my house. As in, like, a bedroom thing? What well, I got my first buck. I wanted to have it in my bedroom, but Dad had his two in the living room, and mine ended up joining them in the living room as well. As well. I was talking to the, um, the previous owners of this house. The guy just came out and walked, like, the exact property line with me uh, about a week ago today, I believe. And it was just to, you know, get a better idea of exactly what land I, I could actually be on and what land I couldn't. And he knew that I shot the buck that I did, so I was showing him, and I guess they were discussing where it would actually fit, and they figured it might have to go in the bedroom because the ceilings are low downstairs, but I think I have a plan. Oh, Hassock. <laughs> what rule is needed? Oh, no caps? Yeah, caps, this one, sometimes I feel the need to explain it because some people wonder why uh, no caps is a rule. If, if the purpose of caps is to get attention, and then it works, 
everyone will then start to use caps, and then the entire chat is caps, and that's just obnoxious. So, we don't even need it. In a little I have to get on a school bus? No worries, man. You should get a full body mount and put it in the middle of the living room where the coffee table is. I'm gonna need to get a higher TV stand. <laughs> Gotta make sure I can see the TV out past it. I, I genuinely did consider a full body mount for at least a little bit. The, um, the, call it hunting shop, I guess. I was gonna say bow shop, but it's not just for archery. Uh, where I always go to get my bow tuned and anything that I need hunting-wise. Like, I just, I could go other places that are closer, but I just give them my business because they've always been really good to me. That guy has a, there's a buck, a 180-something that's full body mounted. A little bit bigger than mine and a couple more non-typical points. And it looked really cool, so I considered it, but the cost difference is massive. That was unfortunate. There was a roadie or something there that spooked that buck off. The fallow looked good. Yeah, the first thing that I noticed when I was uh, making the video earlier, they blend into their environment really well. And I know that might not seem like a big deal, but you can imagine... You know, an animal that doesn't have the correct coloration or just like a poor model would stick out like a, th a sore thumb. I'll give you an example if you're familiar with it. Deer Hunter 2005 had a rare variation of, I think, just a white tail doe that was called a cartoon doe. Basically, like a 2D model that did just stick out if you found it. And I think that's kind of what I'm getting at here. These models are done correctly so that they fit in. I, f I felt like, I guess it was maybe the axis deer a little bit. Sometimes they feel like they don't fit in as good. 12k body mount for real, bottom boy. When you start doing Thursday streams, this is a special one for the fallow deer release. We're just out here smoking, I was going to say big males, but we're, we're smoking fallow deer big and small at the moment. Later, Liam. I can't get your channel? Uh, what do you mean? Get to watch the stream because I'm homeschooled. There you go. Glad you can hang around. How many people do you know with a full body mounted deer in their living room? You can't put a price on bragging rights like that. There is. So, okay. Our living room also has the entrance down to the basement so there, there is this little area where in theory it could fit especially considering the fact that shadow would probably just try to eat it i think it's best that it's up off the floor i would just be i'd have a real hard time looking at it every time if, if it had chewed up legs or something that would really bug me Would it be better if the Hunter Classic had need zones? No. Um, I would actually say... You know what? I just said this on stream yesterday, I think. I'm pretty sure it was last night. Somewhere in the middle between the Hunter Classic version, which is animals just endlessly wander, um, and there are no zones, and Call of the Wilds version where it, they're 99% of the time in a zone, Somewhere in between there lies a perfectly realistic, call it middle ground. Deer are patternable to some degree in real life. You can expect, you know, if you if you watch a particular buck, you can expect him to feed roughly in the same area, roughly the same time of day most days. And the same goes for most other deer. I think that, and I'd rather classic stay as it is um, at this point, but for Call of the Wild's sake at least, what was that? Okay, I didn't even hear it, but I guess it was a fox. Anyway, I think if they randomized each individual herd's zone times, it could be a lot more realistic. You imagine, you know, herd A of white-tailed deer maybe drinks from the normal time, time 12 to 1600, but maybe herd B drinks in the middle of the night, like 2 to 4 a.m. And then the next herd is 7 to 10 a.m. 
a lot more randomness and a lot more variability, I think. It could be a lot more fun. Until the rut hits, well, yeah, 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 but let's... <laughs> I've always wanted, more so in Classic because of the wandering aspect, I've always wanted a map that would have rutting whitetail behavior. I'm of the opinion now that's never going to happen, so I'm just going to ignore the rut for the pattern side of things. A giant 12 point, you gotta kill it. But it, I assume it's gonna shed, it better be a 12 point again. Not to say that I was disappointed my buck had 14 points, but we had the whole 12 thing going on with the antlers and I had photoshopped my 9 point into a 12 point for all that. It would have been neat if I ended up killing a 12 point, but not gonna, not gonna complain. Farm? Farming sim? That reminds me. I had that game for a week and then I got a dog and never went back. Did I miss anything? Yeah, we've killed a couple of fallow deer. Uh, one buck and a number of does. We should have had a second buck, but a roe deer spooked it off. The only buck that we got we actually fast traveled right on top of, so if anybody's curious, this, uh, this might be a good tent placement location. There are more fallow deer somewhere out ahead of us. I don't know, probably does. But it is important to up your tracking skill level on new species. Why can you not run as much in the Hunter Classic? A number of reasons. Most animals in Classic don't give a warning call before spooking. Um, roe deer may be the only species that do. I feel like there's one other animal that makes some audible sounds, but... That's one of the reasons, sometimes in Call of the Wild, if you're running, even if you're about to spook an animal, they may let you know with a warning call. And then the penalty in Classic, and penalty's kind of the best word I can come up with, for spooking an animal is a lot more severe. There goes a road here right now making warning calls as it's fleeing. Um, in Call of the Wild, if you spook an animal, half the time they just return to the zone they were just in. In Classic, the animal stays at a heightened sense of alertness for something like five or six minutes. You cannot call them in, and it's just generally a pain to have to try to track them down and keep up with them, whereas in Call of the Wild it's just a lot easier. What's up, Mr. Classy Duck? Watching you hunt fallow makes me want to hunt fallow in Call of the Wild. I gotta say I do, I do like it this way in Classic so far. I wish, because you see the, um, the little footprint in the Hunter Mate? I wish they would have given them their own tracks on the ground. It is the deer tracks that we have with like uh, white tail, mule deer, black tail. But then again, you know, not a big deal. Would you like to see trophy shots in Call of the Wild? Of all the things in Classic that Call of the Wild does not have, that is the number one thing, in fact, that I want to see go to the game. I could reason with it a number of different ways, but. The simplest thing is sometimes, you know, if I have, I don't know, 12 diamond, what do I kill a lot of? Uh, well, red deer, <laughs> because we have tons of them. Probably they're not all going to get into my trophy lodge because we have way too many diamonds from the ground, but if I could just take a nice picture of a, a good looking diamond, even if I could even flip, uh, place those photos in the trophy lodge, just make it even more customizable. It'd be so cool. I fell asleep watching the old 60k stream and now wake up to this. Nice. Well, uh, good morning. Starting work in 20 minutes. I'm in California. Oh, dear. 6 a.m. start time, huh? Hunting on Classic is a grind, I feel like. I think to some degree that is kind of understandable. If you look at the old Steam reviews, and probably even some new ones for Classic, the the top kind of negative comment outside of the pay to win stuff, which is no longer the case for the game, it was always like, played for two hours, didn't see a single animal, don't waste your time. And I think normally that would probably involve a whole lot of sprinting around and not understanding the game. They have new tutorials now, and maybe they do a better job of kind of letting you understand the necessity of moving slow and all that, but 
I remember being new to the game. I I would do a hunt. I is probably somewhere on YouTube still. Um, I shot two mule deer bucks in one hunt, and I thought that was something special. I didn't usually find two bucks in one hunt. Just before I understood how it worked, like I definitely get feeling like it's a grind, but the more you understand it, the better it is. I refuse to believe you're not in a beta server right now. There's zero fallow in my game. Go, I don't know if you've been paying attention to what I've been saying, but literally like near the rivers for whatever reason, seems to be good. I can't explain why, but they seem to be near water. I'm just gonna run over to the the other side here. I don't know what fallow we're tracking. I lost the tracks anyway. Uh, so if Classic is still having animal sad, it will be supported for quite a while. I can only assume, especially due to the fact that they've introduced the hunting leagues, uh, obviously the new species, and I mentioned this, there's some fresh fallow tracks, interesting. Um, anyway, I mentioned this in, in today's video as well. The fact that they had like a little sneak peek early access thing with fallow deer for a couple of creators, um, that says a lot to me about the potential longevity, the, the potential for new content to be added down the road. If they're bothering to do like an early access type of thing, then this isn't the last major content they intend to release. That's my interpretation. Have we figured out what a big fallow typically scores? I know I saw... This is actually... I guess just from other creators. Somebody had like a 160 something, so I can only imagine they get 170, 180. Should I make the trek down to the kitchen to get an energy drink? Yes. Always. What just spooked? I don't know what it was, but something did. Crazy as not was a 13 kill game on Red Feather? That ain't bad. Who and what? Oh, Roadier again. Every time it's Roadier. Can you show us the maximum graphics of the Hunter Classic? This is basically max, um, outside of the fact that the resolution is 1080. If you do have a PC that can support 4K, Classic is very, very beautiful in 4K. My issue is, I have issues playing, uh, or streaming in particular, in windowed mode. In Call of the Wild, I can't quite run it in 4K, um, and I definitely can't stream it in 4K. So, I just, despite the fact that it's a 4K monitor, I've actually got it set to 1080, and it's just easier that way to, to run with everything. What's up, HB? That was a fellow doe that's calm. I saw one trotting around. Well, why don't we just do a little call in here? I do... Ooh, did I equip it? Oh, uh, what a small male I am. I bought fellow deer scent, but I didn't equip it, so I guess we're only going to call. Could I have potential to place scent right outside the tower here and have a much easier time, but we'll make do. Good move, Ben. A game that's not dumped just because it's older and different games have come out? Yeah, you know, I thought at a lot of different points, the classic was probably just about done. When they made it free to play, which was in 2018, I think, I kind of figured, all right, this is it. They're more or less just going to stop supporting the game here shortly, and that'll be it. Clearly, they had a long-term plan, and it it's... It's gotta be successful, considering they're still adding stuff in. Uh, Kyle, thank you for the super chat. Got my first diamond. It's a rabbit. Nice, man. Thank you, and I'm, I'm glad uh, to help in whatever way I may have. Fallow does not get attracted to the caller? I think they do. I, I'll go and read it and see what it says. Either I've been really stupidly lucky, and they've just walked past me, or they do get attracted, because I've had a couple of does come in without bucks. Let me go and read the uh, store page. Lures, collars, deer rattle. Uh, yeah, it does say male, male reindeer and male fallow. So either that means there were there was a buck in that first herd and I never saw it, or we got really stupidly lucky and they just walked past. The hope is then that there's a buck somewhere in this uh, the herd. 
The legendary Flint Air. The fresh prince of Flint Air. I apologize for that. You maybe want to play the Hunter Call of the Wild? Uh, that's awesome, man. I always love to see that. Uh, the videos and streams getting people into the game. It's feeling as if there maybe is not a buck around. See, some of these fallow does are spooked, though. Even for like a year after the free-to-play with no new content, it was a little sketchy until a dev mentioned something about how much revenue they were still making off of EMs. I don't know that I even saw that, but yeah, you're right, there was. The free-to-play update was in May, if I remember correctly, and then we didn't have like a game update or a... What did they call like those weekly... Was it status update, perhaps? There was just nothing. They essentially went silent. I, I did think that was the end. For a while. Weird caller? With the antler rattler, or just... Do you mean the fact that they, um... Only attract the males? Because it, it makes sense. In a way, at least. Sometimes when you're... At least with whitetail. When you're using rattling antlers. You can get a curious doe. Come and check it out. Favorite country song? Uh... I don't listen to as much music as I used to now. There's some good Luke Combs ones. I'd have to think about that. The status updates stopped being about the game for months before that point? Was that when they started to introduce some like real life hunting stuff and all that? I remember a bit of that. How long have you been playing Call of the Wild on Kindly Sugar? Because it might be a bug that dates back to uh, March of last year, actually. Um, TJ McKenzie, thank you so much for the super chat. Love the videos. You're the reason I got into Call of the Wild. And my first time was a 338 Mjolnir. Is that close to max trophy score? Um, I think they can get close to 350. Although the rack that does that was kind of messed up. I don't know, they've since fixed that, so I don't know kind of what the max is now. I do know at 338 that you have basically the best rack they can have, so I would say that in and of itself is a good accomplishment. I like that wide rack that yours will have. Any Alan Jackson? My brother used to listen to quite a bit of it. Anything George Strait? There you go. A Rainy Night by Eddie Rabbit. I don't know if I know that one. Yeah, I... I wasn't really reading them myself, Hasek, but... I guess at some point, if you're tasked with, uh... Making status updates on a game where nothing's happening, it's probably fair enough. Ice cart. Uh, don't, don't get in trouble for doing that. Did you have another? Okay, hello. Did you have another top five one that I missed there, bottom boy? I might have. Never gonna change by David Morris. I don't think I know that one. I didn't realize you're playing with a reindeer collar. Then I realized there's a new animal added to the game. Yeah, and they've, uh, they've kind of gone down the same path as Call of the Wild with the Antler Rattler being the caller of choice for Fallow. When it rains, it pours. That is a good one. I like that one a lot. I like um, Forever After All of his. I can't think of the one. I don't, I don't know the name of it. Oh, it, it's, a, it's a newer one. I, I just had it for a second. It's something to... Something to the effect of, like, what would you be doing if you're not doing this? And it would just be doing this anyway, like, as a hobby, because you enjoy it. I related to that a lot with, uh, with, like, Call of the Wild and making videos and all that stuff, streams. Oh, nice bottom boy. What game is this? This is the Hunter Classic. If you're familiar with the Hunter Call of the Wild, it's kind of the predecessor to that. A weird way to explain it? The song? I don't know the name of it. It might just be called If if You Weren't Doing This. I, I don't know. I'm trying, okay? 
Okay. The good news is there are fallow deer on all sides. The bad news is I'm not sure there's a single buck among them. It, it that that is so much the truth, Joe. I told Kyla she has to go and buy a, a goose setup just to have something else to do on hers, but she's not interested. Let me see where you're at. Um, I haven't had too many along that main river, but the smaller river in the north and the one that you've got your mouse by have been good. Up north on the main river, though, I, that's kind of where I'm at now. I do have some. Do you still play Hunting Sim 2? Honestly, I haven't touched it since I shot that legendary elk. I had wanted to go back and maybe shoot some more legendaries, but to be honest, I, I think I'm pretty well done with it. I'm hoping maybe they'll do Hunting Sim 3. Um, I have been of the opinion that Hunting Sim 2 got a lot of stuff right. It's just that the animal models are so poor that it's tough to, to stick around with it. Just spawn mash a 200 on Kyla's game. How much GM do fallow bucks seem to be given? Uh, I didn't even look. The one that we shot was kind of average. There's a buck. Average size ish. Where is he at? Right down the road. I don't even see him. I guess he's kind of over the hill. No, he is standing right on the road. Well, we can perhaps establish how many GM a fallow buck's given. That's kind of a, I would say this is average size. Maybe a little above average even. Cool. Well, we'll try to get him with the bow. If we can kind of get climbed up on this rock. I love your videos. You always make my day. Well, thank you, man. Can you make a video where you only use the blazer rifle and shotgun? I could consider doing that. I kind of like the combination. Do you like to hack and call the wild? Just no. <laughs> 5,000 something hours. There's zero chance that I'd have any motivation to continue playing the game. Hacks or trash? Hash or tracks in... What did I just say? Tracks? Hacks or tracks? Yes. We don't talk about hacking. We really do try to just avoid the subject in general. Why cheat in a hunting game? I, I try to get that point across when I talk about hunting, uh, hunting games. The point of playing for me, the, the, I, this probably won't be the best way to say it, but like the, the high you get off of shooting like a diamond or a rare or whatever it's not the fact that you shoot it. It's the work that goes into getting it or like the understanding that it was so unlikely but you did it anyway. Why she did anything? You got a very good point. I just heard something that sounded like it spooked but it certainly did not. So you can get groups of bucks and there's other does back there. I guess we're not going to get up on that rock though. I can't seem to get the Hunter Classic to work. How did you get it to work? Um, honestly, I've not had many issues with it. Are you on Steam or trying to get it through the launcher? Because definitely you want to get it on Steam. Can somebody... I don't know if anybody saw the, uh, the video earlier today. Maybe somebody can help me understand what this fur type means. This fallow deer is a fur type that's called, like, Menil. It's M-E-N-I-L. I've never seen or heard that word, I'm probably pronouncing it incorrectly. It's got a little bit of a similarity to the word melanistic, so it might mean like dark, but I don't know. They do, Danny. That sounds about right, Ben. Good luck, Dalt Step, and have a good day. Appreciate you, man. We'll hopefully catch you in the next one. Yeah, it looks like the fallow does just start to wander then once the buck's dead. Similar to the reindeer. Boy, it's just lighting up every pin. I think the bow figures if I shoot enough times aiming with every pin, one will hit it. Whew. 
we're just gonna get all the harvest we can. There, there may be other ones around. Um, this is probably not the ideal situation, but well, she's gonna stop for a second. They always do. Ah, probably single lung. No results on Google here. I'll uh, use Ballot Right as well. Whatever that is. Never, never have seen anything like that, but I just want to know <laughs> what it means. Surely someone out there knows. Any other animals you would like to see added to Classic? I Apparently maybe Pronghorn being out of the Logger's Point isn't a good idea. That was my theory, that it might be able to happen. Other than that, I don't know that I have anything in particular that I feel like would be a decent fit. What? Body blood. I don't know what was wrong with that shot. I don't think we'll track it though. Um, we'll keep looking for other bucks in the area. And call the wild, those are going to be gone in 0.2 seconds. Yeah, that's the nice thing about bow hunting in classic. The you can have generally just does. You can have them pretty close and not spook them. Bucks. 35, 40 meters, they'll spook. Shammy on Fatalball, that's a good one. That could really make hunting the mountains very interesting. It shouldn't be incredibly hard to add if they could get a model that works. There's not too much going on with their horns. Manila is the name of a year round paler coloration on fallow deer. It's interesting that's the paler one because that's like a dark fallow. My Hunter Classic is super bad resolution. When you're in the launcher, so before you start a game, in the top right, there's a settings option. You can change your resolution to whatever you want uh, there. Honestly, same Savannah, that's not one that I had thought of. Oh, the deers. Do more call? Wait, what you mean? Huh? Oh, call the wild. Yes, this does make sense. You'd think that's one that I could have got a hold of. Thank you for the morning stream. I'm now going to be calm all day. My pleasure, man. Glad I got to do it. I was thinking about it, maybe doing it. Uh, I kind of sat down, started looking into making a thumbnail, and then Shadow went sleepy, and I thought, this is my chance. Any tips on a diamond elk on Silver Ridge Peaks? Uh, they have two drink times that are very brief. I think it's four to five in the morning and then 17 to 1800 in the evening. I would try hunting them then. You'll see a lot of elk around the, uh, the different lakes. I'm not good enough at reading these fallow deer tracks yet to know like what's a buck and what's a doe just based off the footprint, but I feel like that one was a little larger than what we're seeing. I don't even know what that is. That's a fleeing roe deer. It's tough too when we've fired a gun. That was pretty far south. Let's just make a little hop down here. Roe deer's not what I wanted to see, but oh hello. Let's see, this is... Okay. Normal streams, I can't hit them. Today we just... One shot and it's dead? Okay. Well. Hand didn't go quite as good. Tiny tracks? Yeah, a little... A little smaller than what we see with Whitetail. I wonder what the chances of getting more duck species in Classic are. We do have a bunch on, on uh, Rougarou. Um, Mallard, Pintail... American Black Duck... Gadwall. Is there one more? I think that's the three, or the four. Maybe on another map? Who knows, though. That quickscope? Holy. MLG gamer out here. Alright, okay. I don't know what I just did. It's fine. Fallow deer are, in fact, new to the Hunter Classic. Something that's been long awaited. Um, you think back to some of the different updates that have happened in Classic over the years. 
Often, Hirschfeld would be mentioned as a map that was lacking, and Falladir normally were suggested as something to fix it. And we're finally here. Finally got Falladir in the game. I guess we're just pheasant hunting now? What if we found a rare pheasant on our first fallow hunt? Our first lynx hunt ever, years ago on a YouTube stream in fact, we killed a 600 reindeer, so it's possible. Do you play Rocket League? Uh, it's been about two years since I played. I had like 2,500 hours, I played quite a bit. It was one of those things that was just taking up way too much of my time and I just couldn't continue to commit the amount of time that I was committing to it. Where the heck? Oh, wow, I'm just blind. What are the differences between Classic and Call of the Wild? I've been wanting to try it, but I don't know if I like it. I assume you've been wanting to try Classic, right? Classic's a little slower paced. Um, you're not going to see as many animals. You're not going to see as many big ones. But it's a lot more true to life as far as like the hunting experience goes. Other than when pheasants fly right to you. That's a little maybe less likely to happen. Alright, that one's going to get away. Rocket League is really fun. Honestly, the game has passed me by in a way, as far as mechanics go. As I understand it, it's all flip resets and crazy stuff now at the top level. and That was not something I was ever very good at, so I'm glad I kind of got out when I did. Have you ever played Cabela's Big Game Hunter? I've played most of the Big Game Hunter games over the years. They need to do a boar extinction event. Do you hunt much timber gold? I know that's going to seem like a random question, but I still don't know. Weren't the wolves supposed to be reduced by like 50%? Because I did not get the impression that they were reduced that much. So fallow are spread all over the map? As far as I understand it, yes. And I've had a lot of success near rivers. Um, we shot our first couple here, then we shot a couple right here, and then tracked some and shot them up in this area. Have you shot a really big moose in real life? I've never seen a moose in real life. At least not that I'm aware of. Is there Kudu or Gemsbuck on Classic? There are not. Um, no Africa map in Classic, as much as it would be cool. That's not been something that's ever happened. I think we'll run away again and see if we can get ourselves into some more fallow deer. If EW adds beavers, they're getting 470. It's amazing they haven't done it, given the frustration that the fictional beavers have caused over the years. Everybody wants to just shoot beavers for taking their tents down. What is this 22 handgun magic? Can I play like this all the time? What's up, Jack? I feel like Classic could definitely use some more small game animals. I mean, Classic has a fair number. There's the European rabbits, snowshoe hare, cottontail rabbits, three species of grouse, pheasants, um, I don't know if geese count as small game. I'm missing something that I was going to say as well. Okay. I'm only good at shooting things out of the air with the 22 handgun, I see. How big can Fallow Deer get? I'll go and check the leaderboard and see if there's any uh, good ones on there just yet. Yeah, have to scroll all the way down. I saw a 203 Whitetail up there. That made me casually jealous. Um, right now, 97 is the top of the leaderboard, so it's definitely not updated because I shot a 100-something. I don't even know what I shot. A... All these pheasants in the way. A 113? In the video earlier today, and now that was a little bit of like a early access sneak peek kind of thing, I shot a 143. What do you think about Ultimate Hunter? Uh, is it Ultimate Hunter? Ultimate Hunting? I don't know what it's called. I've more or less just avoided everything to do with it. And that's not because I don't want to play it. Um, I am trying my best to just curb my expectations and go in just to appreciate exactly what it is and not expecting something that it isn't. I think I'm more likely to enjoy the game that way. Uh, Zeroxy, thank you for the super chat, by the way. I appreciate the support. 
He shoots a kid-sized whitetail. <laughs> a kid size. You're much better? Uh, at what? I might be missing something. If we get beavers, there's no telling how many diamonds and rares I'm gonna get because I'm gonna hunt every one of them. They're another one of those species, actually, that could spur a lot more than just a new animal. If they were to add beavers to the game, and then you think about the Trophy Lodge side of things, you can't mount a beaver without having, like, some form of a tree chewed down. It just has to be part of it. So maybe we could start to see customized terrain? At least in the, uh, the full body mounts. Uh, Danny, thank you for the super chat. Kyla can become the classic Fallow Queen. I'm sure she is working on it. Gotta get some tents on her, she'll be looking good. Uh, TJ McKenzie, thank you as well. Good luck on the foundry hunting. I get to finally go home after almost a 13 hour graveyard shift. Well, thank you, man. And, uh, I'm sure you're exhausted. Drive safe, we'll catch you hopefully in the next one. Who is the rudest person on a live stream to you? There's been plenty <laughs> over the years. I don't know. One of the more rude things that can happen is just following me around and shooting a gun. That's happened. Somebody was speed hacking in a Call of the Wild game and zipped right past me. That was cool. That's why, like, on Twitch, when I stream Hunter Classic, I always do multiplayer. That's actually why we're in single player right now. Uh, unfortunately, it is just too likely that somebody's going to join and either say stuff in the chat that shouldn't be on screen or whatever. Plus the fact that it's a new species, I like to be able to have the whole map to myself, but, you know, I'm not one. Not yet. In reference to more small game being added to Classic, I feel like they could do a lot with raccoons, gray fox, beaver, muskrat. Yeah, gray fox could maybe work. They have the red fox, so they wouldn't have to work too hard for that. There ought to be, unless I spooked them. Maybe I did. Oh, there, there we go. Just some geese rest, and that's kind of a chonker. What about this guy? Nope, why does that one look so big? I guess because it's hovering. This one in the middle there? I'm looking for any with a weight above 8kg. There was up to 7.9 on that one. Might be about as good as we're going to do. That one looks big. Nope. Looks like this is the one. Alright. Let's see if I can actually kill it. I don't know how far that is, but... Should I have to aim a little high? Just like a touch? Won't waste all my bullets, I only have 18 left. You and Kyle are gonna have the most wild and kids, that's how I met your mother story. You know, I've thought of that in the past, how on earth that's gonna be explained. Well, you see, kids, I was live streaming. Oh, back in the day, you actually had to sit at the computer. Now you just do it from your brain with the plugins that they give you. <laughs> I have your merch on? Nice, man. That's cool. Gotta run, have a great day, everyone. You too, man. Appreciate you stopping in. Hello. Nice of you to join us. Oh, wait, I thought one of you was a rooster. That's lame. It's called the Wild Classic? What now? I don't understand. Alright, decent goose. We still have a ways so we can fast travel. Um, guess we're just gonna continue down this way. Have a great day, best content for Call of the Wild. Thank you, man. Been a minute since I played Classic. Any trophy fallow do yet? Eh, nothing really to speak of. Couple of average size bucks. Been struggling to find a whole lot of them. Honestly, though, for the fact that we're an hour in and we've killed a couple of bucks and a good number of does, it's a lot better than the hunt that I did for them for the video earlier. Do you know why me and my friend can't join each other in Hunter Call of the Wild, and if we join the same game, it kicks one of us? 
the most likely issue is somebody's, um, like one of the two of you has maybe poor internet connection. That's the only thing that would make much sense. Uh, tips on the Great One grind for Whitetail? I mean, really what it comes down to is you hunt your entire map during your drink time, whatever you choose to do, Mississippi Rancho or, or Layton. Check everywhere to try to find every single drink zone they have. You've got 16 tents that you can place on a map. You can figure maybe that's going to allow you to hunt 20 to 24 zones, and the reason that it might be that many is you'll get some zones that are close enough together that you could hunt potentially two zones just with one tent. And from there, you got to pick your, your best like 24 zones, set up your tents, and then it's just a matter of shooting as many bucks as you can until a uh, great one shows up. Now it's a river run time till we either find something or fast travel. How long are we waiting? It's gotta be 18 minutes. Hopefully we can find some. Are there red deer in the Hunter Classic? Yeah, yeah. Just picked up a red deer track, in fact. How did you get the Hunter Classic full screen? Uh, I'm guessing that's maybe a resolution situation. There's a setting for full screen. Um, when you're in the launcher, you can't change the graphic settings from in-game. But in the launcher, in the top right, there's a settings menu. You can change the resolution. Um, it depends on what your computer or screen uh, resolution is. But you would try to set the resolution to what your, what your screen is. And then you would check the full screen. I'm actually playing in windowed mode. But because I'm using a game capture with OBS, you guys see it as if it's full screen. Favorite weapons in Classic? Honestly, one of my absolute favorites is the 7x64. Very good long range weapon. More for like mid sized games, so your, you know, whitetail, mule deer, ibex, sheep. It'll, it'll do okay on red deer, but you gotta be precise with your shooting. That, and I'm a sucker for camo weapons, so the camo 30-06 is up there, high on my list, stuff like that. Do you have an albino Roosevelt? In Classic, I have two. I love the story for my first one, even though it was absolutely pathetic. Um, I had just put a new... I think I just put a new GPU in my old PC, the one that Kyla's using, actually, and it was running too hot to record, so I got a new... Um, the, the CPU is running too hot. So I got a new cooler. I don't remember what it was called. But a new cooler and I put that in. And all I was doing was more or less sitting in a tree stand in classic sitting still. Just testing to see how loud the fan would get and see if it was running at a okay temperature. Not even hardly calling. Like I, I did not do an alcohol. And I heard some footsteps and I looked down and there was an albino... I think I was 113. Roosevelt just walked right underneath the tower I was sitting in. Mosin is the best gun in the game. I, I do like the Mosin a lot. But. I wish. That it wasn't. A requirement to use that particular scope. I understand why it is but. I don't need. I don't need zoom. I'm just not a huge fan of the reticle. Good way to find it. Yeah, it was already recording. Didn't even need to do anything. That was a fallow, I swear. Almost sure. Look at that. Right through the trees. Proud of myself. It's a buck, too. I think. Is it? Yeah. Now, do we just go guns a blazing, or do we, do we see if we can get them to come in? Ooh, another buck. Okay, this might be a group. Uh, let's mark that location. I don't know that we're quite close enough to call them in. Can we cross here? If we can cross here, we're in good shape. I remember the Mosin brain shots. Was that a video I did? Didn't mention the 4570 Buffalo. I do love that gun. It sucks that it's so limited on species you can hunt, and it's fair enough because it's absurdly powerful, but, you know, if you can 
chase a few more species with it, obviously. It's got a lot more utility. Are you suggesting you put a non-original scope on a Mosin? I'm just, you know... Yeah, you can maybe... Maybe modernize things a tiny bit. How can you see animals so far away like that? I just caught the, the white of the butt, which, funny enough, is kind of the way that you try to spot, like, bighorn and, and mule deer in real life. You kind of look for that white rump patch. Is this an interview? I'm here to announce that we have signed Jimmy Garoppolo to the Steelers because, good God, every other quarterback's gone and Mason Rudolph cannot, cannot be the starter this year. How's the Rattler work? Um, basically it only attracts male fallow and male reindeer. Now, if it's a herd where males and females are joined, the females will follow the males into the call. But once the males are dead, they just kind of disperse. Biggest animal you find in real life? The buck that I shot this past year, far and away, was the biggest one I've had in real life. It was a gross score 180 inch whitetail, uh, which for PA is nuts. It was the third biggest buck ever shot in the county. Um, second biggest in the last 80 years. Mr. Trubisky to the Steelers announcement coming today. Who was the other guy you predicted? I didn't hate it. I forget, you posted it somewhere. I saw a thing that said, if the Deshaun Watson stuff goes well, I think on Friday, that he was heading to the Steelers soon after. Apparently, some of the... Jerry du Dulac is the guy's name. One of the trusted Steelers media guys says those rumors aren't true. But you would be compelled by the team and... You know, if you want to continue to be an insider, you kind of do some of the stuff they want. The Steelers don't want you to know that they want Watson if they do, in fact, want Watson. So it kind of makes sense. What's up, JW? PA hunting different? That it is. Ah, Mariota was the other one you said, yeah. Yeah, because I, I, I mentioned um, they have Josh Dobbs, who's an athletic guy, and he's also a rocket scientist, I guess. Literally. So... He's he's got the brain power. Ben like to keep him around to help, like look at um, the on-field stuff, like the Microsoft Surface or whatever they use. If they're if they're running a Marcus Mariota offense, he might as well keep Dobbs around because he could kind of execute some of the same plays as a backup. Feels like Jameis Winston's kind of underrated. I wouldn't hate that signing. I I think you need to be careful with some of his tendencies to throw interceptions, but otherwise it could work. What's up, Skibbles? Thank you for the super chat. Walked over a 102 kg whitetail track, later realized about two weeks that it was the great one. Chance he's still there? Uh, if it's in single player, it... Ooh. What map? If it was on Leighton, he'll still be there. If it was on Mississippi or Rancho, if this was before the ARs came out, he'll be gone. Dude, I have. N I don't think Kirk's worth two first. You gotta understand his contract. His cap hits like ungodly, so I think they're gonna not be able to unload that entire contract. So the draft picks to get him would be lower. Denver's got a fighting chance now. The AFC West is gonna be fun to watch. Winston's the only thirty for thirty QB. Not 30 for 30, sorry, 30 30. 30 for 30 is a very different thing. It generally does not involve throwing 30 interceptions. How long is the stream? Eh, we might go for another hour, we'll see. I I just hope so, bottom boy, because that would be so funny. Are there elk by you? Not really that close, they're more in the northern part of the state. Um, probably have to drive an hour and a half north to kind of find him. He's a full light year better than Wentz. Kirk Cousins is? I'd say he's not going to hurt you as much as Wentz sometimes will, but he's also going to not make some of the big plays. I think the Packers are done for re-signing Rodgers. That's kind of... 
I don't know. It's one of those things where to some degree they have to appreciate what he's done for the organization. I mean, in terms of rings, like, you could argue that they underperformed or whatever you want to call that. But it's also worth noting that he has had them in contention every year. And that's selling tickets. That's making... They don't have, like, an owner, right? But that's making the organization money. And, like, that's something that is important. So none of these guys are very big. Um, that is rather upsetting. <laughs> Guess we'll try to get that guy there. Guess I'm going to have to stand. Dang. Sometimes I'm struggling with some of these fallow bow shots. If we could have dropped him, I don't know that the bucks would have hung around. Probably body again. Yeah. Well, we'll just kind of take it slow and see if one will come in. Four years, 200 mil. He also tweeted out that that contract's not necessarily right, but I bet it is. You still have found no fallow deer? Are you hunting by the water? Have you found any? I found a herd of bucks, but they Goodness. were all small. Yeah, that's what I just found, too. I'm in single player for obvious reasons, but... I want to go to the the river in the south. That's where I'm heading next. I feel like Buckshot would be good for Fallow. It probably could be. 10 gauge especially. Are the multiplayer servers bugged? I don't know. Kyla was just in one on her own at least. What settings is your game on? Max settings outside of the resolution. Resolution is just 1080. What? Have you ever got a melanistic pheasant in in classic? No. In Call of the Wild, I have two melanistic hens. How often do you hunt cougars in Call of the Wild? Uh, not all that often. Good morning. He's like, I took an hour nap. Time to be crazy. What the heck? Something's happening. I hear things. Where are things? Oh, I see things. It's a little far. Can you stop, sir? That wasn't stopping. That was pausing. Oi. All right. I want to... Kill bucks when they're in front of us, so. Kill bucks, we shall. She's in multi, not dropping the pass in my PM. She went to single player anyway. She actually sent me a text that said, please keep Hasek away from me. I don't like anything to do with him. So I just told her to go to single player and it'd be all right. Wow. Wow. Oi. Another one just ran past us. I heard it. Kind of in this weird area where they can't go that far. It well could have been the one that we hit already. Does Shadow do zoomies? Oh my god, yes. Especially in the snow. I mean, last night, she was already super tired. She fell asleep on my lap watching TV. And I just had to take her outside real quick before bed. And she gets out in the snow and just starts full on sprinting. In circles around me. Like a little psychopath. That's funny, she got up for a minute. I'm just laying back down already. She's canceled? No, you. What do we know so far? Well, oddly enough, it seems as if we know that fallow deer are often near the water. Almost every one that I've found is within 200 meters of the water, and the couple that weren't, generally speaking, I found their tracks near the water and then found them a bit further away. Uh, what's the leaderboard's rares and tax worthy? Um, I don't know if we know any of the numbers yet. Might have just been in my head, but I thought I heard footsteps again. I miss my dog when she used to do zoomies. I'm... I don't know that she'll ever stop having zoomies completely. I am somewhat excited for down the road when she's less of a crazy just for 
chill dog vibes. It was 7 this morning, JW. Shadow got up and... She doesn't lick my face anymore. She, like, paws at it. Which involves sharp claws hitting me, like, in the mouth or something. I love it. It's the best way to wake up. It will ensure that I don't roll over and go back to bed, though. I'll say that much. What's up, John? Uh, favorite map in Call of the Wild? And where would you live in that map? Layton and I'd live in... Ooh. I'd live in... Chapika. I like the mountainous area up there. Uh, is there a known bug in multiplayer where that only the host of the game is normal and the rest is bug? Are we talking about classic? I'm not aware of anything at the moment, but I can check into stuff. Huh? Oh, I thought you were telling me things. Gonna be rocking a new eye patch, probably. She'll get my ears. Usually, it's just. Just a slap right in the mouth, that's what she does to wake me up. Oh, ha had her off leash. Yeah, she won't won't leave my sight generally, or she won't allow me to leave her sight, so it's pretty easy to um, keep track of her. She's not she'll to some degree she kinda understands her name a little bit, but she's better with a whistle than her name. Just hopped on to check for new vids and saw you were streaming. Yeah, man. Checking out the new fellow. Why are you guys bad, Acid? <laughs> I'm not having any issues whatsoever. When are you going to play Call of the Wild? Uh, tomorrow's stream over on Twitch will probably be the next uh, Call of the Wild content. I was thinking about trying to get a Call of the Wild bit out tonight, but if I do that, then I'm not going to have everything ready for the weekend, and it's just going to be a whole disaster. So the stream and the uh, video from today will be all this uh, all this day's content. I just saw that Asic, the Odell special. Wait, I need to see what you said. Where's Bottom Boy's thing? Come back. Gotta be Belmont Lake on the ridge that has the train track and look down on the Belmont Lake. You got a good point, actually. It is a good spot. Uh, how do I say your name? Folk Wolf Studios? I don't know if I got that right. Never gets old when my dog goes into crackhead mode. It's funny that I can understand exactly what that means just because that's how dogs are. My dog also eats the snow. I don't know if Shadow eats the snow, but when... When it gets, like, iced up a little bit, she'll eat the ice chunks. I don't know why she enjoys those. Favorite dog breed? I'm not even sure that I have one, necessarily. I mean, I guess Blue Healer, because... Because this little crazy. Kyla's out here schooling ass and I had to hunt fallow deer. Sounds about right. Hey. What are you barking at? Uh, Danny, thank you for the super chat as well. When we got Aspen, the people who rescued from a Bama kill shelter called her Rosie took like two months to make the transition. Yeah, I mean, to them, like, honestly, a name is no more than like a command in a way. Shadow's name when we got her was Daisy, and that just wasn't it because she's too crazy, although it does rhyme. Now I gotta walk all the way back there. I don't know why you don't just get good acid, but, like, if you try that, it might help you out. You wanna come up here? Come here. Come here. Oh. Heavy pooch. Okay. I shall return with results. Excellent. Shadow looks like a boomer from Far Cry 5. I don't. I didn't play the game enough to know what that means. I wonder if it's some sort of primal thing with dogs chewing ice. Maybe it's the same sensation of a bone. It might be. I know. Wow. I got her her little duck that she wants. She dropped it in 12 seconds. I know Shadow likes ice cubes to some degree because 
like it's soothing for her gums because she's teething and that hurts her a little bit, but I don't know if that's where she gets the ice chips idea to. I went into this blind going off of where I think they'd be. Well, that was silly, wasn't it? Got a 159, there you go. Um, I had a 143 in the video earlier, but the biggest in this hunt's like a 119 or something. No biggins. I'm honestly half tempted to leave the one that we shot with the bow and go elsewhere. Especially considering Fallow's awake. They added the hunt, uh, added Fallow to the Hunter Classic? They sure did. Yeah, let's fast travel. We'll forget about that other one. Um, let's just, for the heck of it, go and check the fields, and then we'll swing back around to the river towards the end. So you're right, I did find a diamond cape, but I was with my friend, who only has a few diamonds, so I let him take it. Well, that's nice of you. What map for Faladir and Classic? Hirschfelden. Yeah, Tox, I feel it. There's always maybe a month after hunting season's over where it's like, God, I'm glad that I'm not walking out in that 5 degree and 20 mile an hour wind today, or, you know, I'm, I'm just glad to sleep in for once. And then you start missing it. I'm already... I, I found this spot that I just think is going to be dynamite. And I, I, it's killing me that it's March and I can't go and try it out. But I'm planning on here. It's supposed to snow again Saturday. And then hopefully after that, um, that'll be the end of it. I want to buy probably like 50 seedlings of Red Osier Dogwood and plant a bunch of that for some screening and some, uh, some browse. Just do a little bit of habitat improvement. It happens, newbie. Every time I go squirrel hunting, my dog will run 50 miles an hour down the trail and scare away everything for a mile. Perfect. What a good hunting dog. Shadow would do the exact same thing. She's, she sees squirrels or birds. She will chase them as far as she can go. Uh, Brayden, thanks for the super jam, man. Dave from Australia, any tips for starting Classic? I just built my first PC. Uh, what I would say is definitely play the tutorials. They've added a couple, couple of new ones that'll help you out. And then... Generally speaking, my advice for starting out in Classic is to move slow. Right now we're running, but I've been uh, in this particular game for an hour and a half. Move slow and wait for calls on your Hunter Mate. That's, as soon as a call on my Hunter Mate goes out, I'm going to stop running. That's kind of just the, the way of the game. There we go. Not a fallow deer, so I'm not going to go after it, but that call kind of lets me know that I need to slow down because there's an animal around. What's up, Mel? I'm so late. It is quite all right. What's up with me, Hunters? I, I really need to make that video. Um, we are going to be airing our 2021 season on Wild TV, which is obviously television, um, I think in June. And uh, if, you, if you don't have Wild TV, if you don't have access to cable, or you know if, it, if Wild TV is not available in your part of the world, they are going to air on YouTube as well after they air on TV. So. I know things are a little later this year, um, or a lot later this year, than they were in the past, but that was kind of inevitable for one season, uh, and then things are going to kind of be normal every year. There's going to be, uh, you know, hunting videos and stuff again. When's the video of your IRL buck going to be out? Same same thing there, once uh, the Wild TV stuff happens. So I just started playing Classic. Do your spawns get better slash more plentiful to higher level? Uh, no, actually, most people argue they get worse. I don't think that's the case. I think there's just a lot of beginner luck, and I think there's been literally millions of registered accounts. The reason people think that your spawns are better when you start often is because the leaderboards have low hunter score people at the top of the leaderboard, but like I said, so many people start out the game, play for a week, and then never play again, that that's kind of inevitable. Did you get your big buck on video? I did. Um... I think it's probably one of my better filming jobs. The only negative to it was it was getting a little dark, but it's not like you can't see it at all. It's it's very visible. The best server for Red, you like the best map? Um, I know you were playing Call of the Wild there, so I assume you're talking about Call of the Wild. Quattro or 
Tay Aurora. 137 is your biggest? That's better than I'm doing. I get a bunch of small males out here. Tell you where to go and you show me up. I don't know what kind of trash this is. How bad were you were you shaking when you saw it? I wasn't shaking too bad when I saw it. Because in a, this genuinely, one of the few times that filming actually made life easier in a way. Because I was so focused on making sure that I got it on film, kept the camera on it, made sure everything was, you know, as it was supposed to be in terms of filming, I didn't have too much time to freak out even though it was in front of me for about, I think I filmed for 20 minutes, but it was like 12 minutes of the deer actually being right there in front of me. I never really got to freak out, but right after I took the shot and watched him drop, I, I had an absolute, absolute uh, hyperventilating moment. <laughs> That'd probably be a good video to make, telling everyone all those facts and such, and then when people ask for the buck vid, we just put the link in chat. I've been saying I'm going to make the video, and then I just haven't done it. Maybe I'll get that done here in the next couple days. Um, I don't know why that alert didn't go off, but Elias, thanks for becoming a channel member. Welcome, man. Appreciate you. Enjoy the green name and emojis here in chat. What's your TV series going to be called? I honestly have no idea what it's going to be called yet. It might just be like Me Hunter Season 1, for all I know. That'll have to be something I discussed with TK. Yeah. Is it time to go outside? I can take her if you want to stream for a couple minutes. Okay. <laughs> just checking. I don't think they get that big. It's possible. Beginner's luck is definitely a thing. I got a 425 Rosie in my first 50 hours. I didn't kill any... Well, I had a... I don't know how many... I had been playing for a long time, but I didn't have that many hours in the game. Um, I did shoot a 241 Mule Deer as a guest. Maybe that is beginner's luck. Okay, I, I'm tempted to see what... Bless you, or whatever that was. I'm tempted to see what's down in the forest down here. When does it air the video of your buck? So that's going to be later in the season. It'll pro I mean, chronologically, it's probably the last one. So it might be later in the summer, but over the summer. Excuse you. What are you barking at? What are you barking at? Flandro and friends. What's that? He just wants to be on stream. She's barking at you. I know. She's like, you stood up to take me out and then sat back down. What do you do with sheds? Um, usually not find them. <laughs> My dad found one the other day. I was already a member, that makes sense. You have a kid, we have a dog, which sometimes I wonder. She acts like a child. What are you talking about, Hasek? I don't know what her deal is. Imagine homie shoots the biggest buck of his life and legit just dies of excitement. I did say I'm gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> I did say that. That is a quote from that moment. I still only have found the one shed. I need to get up to mom and dad's and go for a walk. I wanna bring Shadow. She's getting a little better at car rides, but not exactly to where I think she can make it 35 minutes without puking just yet. The fallow deer are stupid at the trophy shop? Are you using the trophy shop poses? I guess you got one, finally. I found a shed when I was looking for my doe this year. There you go. I was hopeful that uh, maybe my buck sheds would be around. I, Looking for sheds this year, I found what is no doubt his bedroom. Like, I, all of the trees are just rubbed and they're, they're high rubs. You can tell that's exactly where you've been staying. That's where he came out from, too. No sheds down in there. I'm not using the poses. Who do who do you uh, think you am? I think you am Pete Weber. It's sad. Aaron's not here to understand my jokes. It's not pleasant cleaning dog barf off your truck seat. Yeah, I've got a uh, I've got seat covers to help with such things. Last time, well, last time being the time we brought her home, Kyla was holding her. 
And the first thing she did was like, within three minutes of getting in the truck, was like silent puke. Into, I literally, I said like, hey, we should grab a towel. We forgot to grab a towel. I thought of it walking out and we just kind of decided that it'll be fine. So she puked on Kyla's jacket like twice. Then they went and sat in the back seat. And then she puked all over <laughs> the, uh, the truck cover in the back. It was great. It was a good time. Didn't know you ever went live this early? It's really only for new releases that this happens. Are you gonna go this time? What's up? I went out with my dog and she already found a bear skull and a deadhead whitetail buck. That's pretty neat. We did find a, a little deadhead spike. I saw it before Shadow smelled it, but you know, she's she's young, it's alright. I've been hunting along the coast of Brahunga and finding a lot of caves. I still can't tell if they're mostly right along the river or up in the brush next to the river. I found most of mine right on the water. Snow is melting off my roof like a hose. That is nuts. If we have lions, we should have elephants. Honestly, that's, a, that's probably about the best argument for elephants that there is. We already have lions. Any information about upcoming map in Call of the Wild? Nah, nothing. Our pup, Pepper, can't even ride the buggy without getting sick. It's awful. Dude, I can imagine. We've been... I think I said this on stream already. We've been wondering if we can manage to bring her to West Virginia for turkey hunting and I have no idea if that's a possibility but I'm trying to like get her in the truck whenever I can just to get her used to it. Is there a diamond guide 2022 coming? I'll think about it at least the 20 was it 2020 it must have been that one's still fairly um, accurate I guess. Nine days until green bean gun what now? What does that mean? What's up, Game and Otter? Uh, what animal would you like to see the most in Call of the Wild? I think doll sheep on Yukon would be pretty cool. Are calls significantly more effective in Classic than Call of the Wild? Generally speaking, calls will be 100% effective in Classic. The animals will just kind of walk in rather than in Call of the Wild. They will sort of trot, if that makes sense. One thing that you can get is in, in Classic, when you have herds of animals, their decision to come into the call is down to the, call it, leader of the herd, and if that comes into the call. So if you can imagine, like let's say, we'll do a little experiment here. Let's just say that this box right here is your render distance. Animals can't hear calls beyond render. so. If you've got a herd right here, and maybe the herd leader happens to be out here, your calls are just going to be ineffective because it's not going to hear anything. That's about the only time... Oh, your green badge, now I get it. Anyway, that's about the only time that um, you'll get animals not coming into calls in Classic, other than ducks and geese. I can't believe PA weather went from perfect 60 degree days to this. That's, that's just PA weather, I guess, but what, the... Uh, I was seeing the 40s as high as 40, 45 today, 47 today. And then a 14 degree low on Saturday. I don't even know what's going on. There you go, Mel. What badge do I have? I think it's the nine month one for the yellow gun. Did you do anything? Just being a crazy, huh? We're in the 70s? Nice. Four of them. I only had one group this stream and they were all small males. Got one 65 degree day in Pittsburgh. <coughs> hey. That was too loud. Come here. Come here. I think she just wants to play, to be honest. Where's your duck? I was holding your duck. Where'd it go? Oh, I guess she moved it. Is she as crazy as Kyla, though? It depends. Are pie balls legal to kill in PA? Uh, as far as I know, they are. 
there are certain places where you can't, but I believe PA doesn't have any regulations on that. Aaron said in an announcement chat, he's trying to work. It's inconsiderate of me to stream. Oh dear, dropping frames. Internet, come back. I blame Shadow for being crazy. Here, we'll, uh... Eh, it might be back. I don't know what that was. Lil, laughing strugs. Come here. You can't just bark at me and then not let me pick you up. Ugh. You gonna bark at everybody from up here now? Uh, did you guys get anything yet? Yeah, we shot a decent number of Faladir. Um, hopefully we can make it 15, 20 more minutes with uh, with Shadow chilling, and then we'll probably wrap up. But It's interesting. We, we get away from the water in any capacity, and then there's just no Fallow anywhere. Didn't know about that, because I don't believe albinos are in PA. I believe you can shoot albinos in PA as well. I... We had a couple of albino fawns one year, and they were shot. Whether or not it's legal, I don't know, but that would be quite the um, commitment. Take them out of state to get them mounted. That's just classic lo losing frames. Now, that was YouTube. My internet had a little strug there for a minute. Uh, leaderboards fight winner take oftentimes like up to a day to update. I wouldn't worry about it. What breed is Shadow? She's a blue healer mix. I didn't hear whatever that was. Red Fox. How'd you get the name Flinter? I played a lot of Cabela's Dangerous Hunt 2009. Uh, anybody who has played that game may recall the main character being named Flint Abrams. And once I completed the game for, who knows, the 12th time, I decided I had to move on and find a new hunting game. I recalled seeing the hunter advertised on YouTube, and I decided to go check it out. I had to create an account, and I was going to be Flint Abrams, but in the Hunter Classic. Um, that name was taken, Flint was taken, and for whatever reason, I just kind of added NER, and ten years later, here we are. Flinter from Ninja Turtles? Yes. Definitely. Get a piebald fellow. What the heck? Showing me up like usual. I hope Bush Rangers run Australia as the new map for Call of the Wild. It could be. You never know. I can't believe you're killing rares already. That would be that would be your fallow luck. For now. Next one will be huge. The Flintstones? The Flinterstones, even? Have you seen the teaser for Ultimate Hunting? I can't say that I have. Can the season be chosen? Like, the in-game hunting, or the in-game season to hunt in? The maps are just kind of set, like, in a particular season. There is, there is no season, really. Some kid in the official got a piebald. I wonder how rare they are. They must be fairly rare. What's the best way to get money in Call of the Wild? Generally goose hunting. You should watch the Ultimate Hunting teaser. I might check it out, we'll see. Is it actual gameplay yet? It's a new The Hunter Killer maybe? There's no way it's killing the Hunter. A lot of people think that it's going to kill the hunter, but people have so many hours in Classic and Call of the Wild that they're not going to abandon it for another hunting game, even if it is better, which I'm not saying the ultimate hunting is going to be better, I'm just saying even if it is, it's not going to kill the hunter. It may become the new best hunting game, but it's not killing it. It's, it's kind of like... A, like Axis Deer in a way, Hasek? How'd you get a hold of my sweatpants string, you weirdo? Thought you were chewing your duck this whole time. 
any news on custom loadouts in the Call of the Wild roadmap? I've not seen anything on it, but I've been a big supporter of that idea. I think that's something they need. Can someone make me breakfast? I need to make breakfast here shortly. I ate nothing. I've drank like half a cup of coffee. 12 out of 12 starts the day. Did Shadow do what, Anthony? All the hunting's gonna go to the way of Hunting Sim 2? I think they're set up to do better than Hunting Sim 2 did, but... The problem is that... It is expected by a lot of people to kill the hunter or to become the next best hunting game. If it doesn't deliver on that, it is gonna have a heck of a time staying afloat because even if it's good, if it's not meeting people's expectations, it's gonna be hard to have longevity. Already made some eggs for myself? Nice. I don't know what the heck I'm gonna make. I had eggs yesterday. Oi, quit chewing on stuff. You got toys. You got toys for this. Shadow looks like my dog, but she's black instead of white. I like Shadow's white paws. That was one of the things that drew us to her. What are the odds that you're going to do anything but go out in the hallway and be bad? He is 841. Score good for a male feral hog? It's not bad. Um, you're looking for a thousand plus for both wild boar and feral hog. I don't even know what she's barking at. When Ultima Hunting comes out, it should push EW to make their game better. Assuming that Ultima Hunting is a uh, legitimate competition, then yes, I would expect that to be the case. As far as I know, Hunting Sim 2 is expected to be competition for EW for a while, and then that didn't happen. Made a wonderful egg and sausage burrito. I miss breakfast burritos. I need to get some kind of gluten-free wrap to make that. Should we smoke a red deer? Why not? Might as well see if we can get them. Longer shot for the 7x64. As long as your shots are accurate, it works well. Top score for Fallon now is 173. Nice. The ads in it look bad? ads. What you mean? McDonald's breakfast, there you go. They do have good breakfast. Wait, you haven't had what? Um, didn't we get it? I don't know if you ate anything there, though. I think you just got, like, a Sprite. Uh, but one of the time, no, maybe that was, it was over the summer in Georgia, huh? Because I was about to, I had to catch a flight. So we stopped at McDonald's and I had like fries. No, I'm not talking about in the airport. I'm talking about, um, one of the times your mom stopped when we were coming back from on the boat. But that was before West Virginia anyway. I think the concept of a competitor to the hunter is getting people too hyped. Where did she even get <laughs> What a psycho. Anyway, to some degree, and I'm not saying anybody that's getting hyped about, uh, about Ultima Hunting is doing this, but there are people who most certainly want to see the hunter call the wild fail and are excited about the possibility of that game killing it um, and, and being the reason for it, I'm here to tell you right now, it's not going to kill the game. It was, it was most certainly Sprite. Uh, Kyla would know. Kyla's a Sprite connoisseur. We're gonna kill one more Fallow, then I'll take you outside, Shadow. Aim down sight? What's that? Oh, the ad- nah, I gotcha. Sorry, I'm dumb. I understand you now. I thought there were, like, advertisements in the trailer, and I was like, yeah, that was kind of lame they'd throw an ad in the middle of a teaser trailer, but, you know, make your money. Now I see what you're saying. That sucks. There were fallow right here close when I shot that red deer, but it is what it is. Ooh, we discovered I don't... Oh, it's a road deer. It's okay. Fallow tracking level three. That means when one calls, we'll now know 
male or female, however, that's not difficult to find out because they sound entirely different. If it says anything, I want to call the autofail and I'm foreseeing it outliving Ultima Hunting. Do you actively want Call of the Wild to fail, or did you want Call of the Wild to fail at the beginning? I'm just curious. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna judge either way. I just want to know where your current perspective is. Honestly, Call of the Wild's only valid competitor is Classic, which is a win-win for EW. Yeah, funny enough, a lot of people do look at it that way. Like, which game is better? I will only play one, and I'm like, man, play both. They're both good. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> fetch me some breakfast. She does fetch me drinks sometimes during streams. Come here. You can't sit there and cry and then run away when I try to pick you up. You're sending mixed signals. <laughs> uh-huh. What, what do you have to say? Get it all out. Luke, thanks for the super chat. Try Mission Brand gluten-free tortillas. I think those are the kind that I've gotten that are gluten-free in the past. The only issue is they do like to tear when uh, wrapping them, but that's kind of just the way it goes. In the beginning? Okay, I gotcha. Listen here, you go. Uh, I see if you'll sit good for another couple of minutes. You did good before. I just want Call of Duty to fix bugs and release updates without breaking new things. I mean, uh, the AR update was pretty pretty flawless in my mind. I don't know that there were any major bugs that came with it. That growl. Doing what she does best. What's up, Demon King? Welcome in. We are attempting to track one last fallow. I don't have a clue if it's a buck or a doe, but I'm probably going to wrap up after that because Shadow is getting a little antsy. Back when Classic was EW's bread and butter and all their stuff like Gen Z and Just Cause got released, they lasted for a bit and then they just went back to Classic and Call of the Wild broke that cycle. I was excited for Call of the Wild when it first came out, but I I didn't think that it was going to stick around like it did, honestly. I mean, ow, dropped her toy right on my ankle. Um, I didn't understand the game, to be fair, but... It just didn't have that feel of something that would really last, and then they they were able to push through some of the strugs, like the geese in particular, and they've turned it into something pretty good. People that think video games can have zero bugs don't have realistic expectations. Yeah, you know, I, I like to make the, uh, the comparison to, like, your old... Um, I think some of the like Super Mario games or like Pokemon games, people are like, video games back in the day didn't have bugs. They were 8-bit games, I mean they only had 12 lines of code, of course they didn't have bugs. They actually could, you know, work through literally every possible scenario. I saw that fallow deer, I really did. Where did it go? Oh, I just had the scope. It's a buck, I think. Not a big buck, but, you know, a buck. He is spooked. There's a rock there that may block our shot. Let me... Right in this little gap. Ah! Walking was a bad idea. That shot did not even connect. I can solve a one-by-one one Rubik's Cube? Holy! That's probably true, Has a Console definitely really helped it out. I'm tempted to try to go elsewhere. That fellow was small anyway. Back in the day when you released a game that was the game DLCs weren't a thing. Yeah, you couldn't just update them, you're right. As games have gotten bigger and stuff though, that is, it's just going to happen as far as um, bugs and such are concerned. I don't know, we're just gonna run. We can fast travel somewhat soon, right? Two minutes, okay. I'm tempted to go to the exact same tent that had us fallow right beside it before. Their legs are so bright? Yeah, they do kind of stick out a bit. Pokemon have bugs, just the missing no glitch was epic. You're right, the first gen actually had a lot of bugs. I, f I mean, they all had some, but like, base gameplay without doing crazy stuff. 
like going forward from Gen 2, generally it was pretty okay. Is that the same buck? Because I, I saw a fallow again. It's right out past this tower in the field. Alright, I seen it. Quit being a pain and let me shoot you. Uh, I think it's the same one. Well, I'll try to get to where I can hit it. I've never played Classic and it looks pretty fun. It is fun. I would definitely recommend it. Do it, Asic. Back from work calls and such. Miss any big males? Nah, nothing special. In fact, I missed a male. Not a big male, but I, I missed this one buck that we're chasing here. We're probably getting ready to wrap up because I was saying just a bit ago, Shadow's getting pretty antsy, so I'm probably going to have to wrap up, wrap up here shortly. Also, the internet's just not having it. Dropping 12 frames per second here lately. I barely play Call of the Wild now with all the new stuff not drinking. I don't know what that's all about. Can you stop trying to eat my sweatpants strings, you weirdo? You have toys. How old are you? Twelve. Times two. Classic seems too slow paced for me. Um, it is slower paced. I, I do think that's a preference thing. but. I don't know, in a lot of ways, that slower pace can be nice. Like, I used to play Classic and sit in a tree stand. This dog is going nuts. I used to play Classic and sit in a tree stand and just do my homework. Some of my best kills, a couple of 400 scoring elk, were shot from a tree stand while doing homework. Um, if you have a laptop, you can just have Classic run and sit in the stand while you have, you know, something else going on. You can watch TikTok if you're into that. You can watch TV or whatever. Jackals without a drink time? Oh, do they not drink now? Funny enough, I killed a diamond jackal without their drink time, so go figure. Can you chew on something like that you're supposed to chew on, like your toys? What's up, Billy? I spent a thousand on a PC, but at this point, a new gen console would be more powerful than a thousand dollar PC, yes, but you could definitely get a PC that's much more powerful. I can't play classic without watching YouTube. I kind of feel it. Um, often when I'm recording classic, I'll I'll find something on YouTube to kind of listen to, or a Joe Rogan podcast, or just whatever to have something happen in the process. What you don't want to do in classic is get overly impatient and start moving around too quick. He knows we're here. Glad that we saw him. He's a bright boy. Oh no, he's dead. Alright, we can fast travel. Um, so we might as well see if we can go and snag one more fallow before we wrap up. What's Shadow doing now? Oh, she left the room. That'll be good. You need a powerful PC for Classic? Not at all. You can run Classic with a, a school laptop in a lot of cases. 79, big male. I'd be playing classic while listening to college lectures. I, I used to do that. <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't recommend, but I used to do that. Alright, do we have any fallow 12 meters away this time? Got a road here, so worst case scenario, we can smoke that. Shiny male. Back to the Pokemon conversations. Finding a shiny fallow. What is this little goober doing? What's up, half rack? Been doing good, man. Got a puppy, as I'm sure you can hear. She is just being an absolute lunatic. If there are no fellow in this field... Oh, I do see one. Or I did. Almost sure. Yeah, there's one right there. Oi. Quit your lunacy. Let's see if we can call it in. It, it may have been just a doe, in which case it's not going to respond to the call. a bunch of stuff going on. There's a couple of road here. We've got kind of average size bucks, a couple of pheasants. Interesting that the fallow's going down the hill now. It makes me wonder if there's a buck back in there with it. Let's kind of pay attention and see what it does. If we can see it, that is. He's alive? Evidently. It's been a while. 
Should be studying, but that's overrated. You read. All right, the fella's just walking off. I will attempt if I can see it again. Wait. Now we got multiple walking our way. I still don't see antlers. It, it could very well be the herd that we already shot the buck out of. We'll be patient. I lost Shadow again, though. Now, how do you feel about squirrels in Call of the Wild? If they can work out how they could get them to interact with trees properly, then I think it could be a good idea. Alright. I'm, I'm pretty convinced because they seem to be in kind of a wandering type of situation here that there are no bucks. Especially given the fact that this is the area where we shot that buck before. It's probably just the same does. You're right, Joe. There, there were little, uh... Call them unharvestable squirrels at one point in Call of the Wild. Let's see if we could just... Did that? Surely that was a hit, right? I don't know how that would have not hit. That'd be a little bit annoying. We're killing something here. If somehow that... Fallow got away. We're taking the road here. They tried squirrels and scrapped because they couldn't do it? You're talking about, like, the tree interaction and stuff? There's a new animal. There are fallow deer in the Under Classic now, yes. Can you not spot animals in Classic? You can, but you can't choose to do it, if that makes sense. You have to have them, um in your scope or in your binoculars for a certain amount of time as you level up in your spotting skill the required time for them to be in view goes down so it's actually important to try to spot as many animals as you can let's see it didn't react in my opinion as if it had just been hit so i'm not exactly confident I don't know if we could have hit a tree or what. Well, it was a doe, so I'm not exactly bothered by it, but I guess we'll go and get our road here then. That was a little bit of a lame way to end. Back to the field then. The nice thing is we more or less made it exactly two hours, so basically did a normal length stream. Collabs are tough, Hasek, for that reason. It's tough to... I don't know. You have to have the right sort of approach to it. Collaboration, not Caleb? Yes, we're going to do a collaboration. Smaller than most of the fallow. All right. So, um, yeah, I think we are pretty well going to wrap up. So, first of all, I want to thank everybody for coming into a... Random, more or less, short notice on an out stream. Appreciate everybody hanging out today. And, uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out the Fallow Deer yet, they are pretty cool. I definitely recommend going and giving them a look here on Hirschfeld. And if you are doing so, best of luck to you. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support this morning. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!